I thought I heard someone. Are you here to train? Care to train with me? Waving the sword around alone is boring, and I'm tired of crossing swords with worthless opponents. But you seem like a worthy adversary. I've always been interested in your technique. You learned from the former captain of the Knights of Seros, and traveled Fodlin fighting as a mercenary. Good sparring partners like you don't grow on trees. But know that I will beat you, and I will surpass your strength. Why? Hmm. I never really thought about that. I learned to thrust a sword before I learned to write my name. Of course, my upbringing wasn't unique. That's how it is for all children in my country. You're no use if you can't swing a sword, however mighty your crest may be. It was the perfect environment for me. I could live free of stodgy values and virtues. Grow strong so you may live, and live to grow stronger. That's what I was taught. Now I'm intrigued by your fighting style, and by who you really are. But that's enough idle chatter. Take out your sword. My mind is emptied of all but the thrill of the challenge. You're certainly not going easy on me. You fight like a mercenary, not a knight. You hunger for victory, pure and simple. You may not be aware of it yourself, but I see it. Indeed. Knights ought to have some hunger. I've always thought so. They depend too much on their swords. Only when they're rested away do knights consider their hands and feet as weapons. That's not how it was for warriors of old. They weren't limited by their tools. Victory is what matters, not the method of achieving it. That's the attitude to adopt. I detect that in your style. It is plain to see. You may take it however you like. I believe the difference between us lies within that hunger. But where does it come from? From the start, I was aiming to win. Yet I couldn't defeat you. Then I remembered something you said before. Indeed. I was raised to value strength above all else. Whereas you had a reason, an ambition, pushing you toward that hunger. So tell me, what was the reason? Why were you driven to become so strong? <laughs> Spoken like a knight, that's not what I would have expected. So that is the source of your hunger. I suppose I must find my own. Ah, uh, if we're to get along, I think not. I'll be content if you continue to train with me. Perhaps it will come to me as I swing my sword. Finally, I notched a win against you. True, it was a narrow victory. When we spar, I feel like I'm revisiting my past. It's like training with my brother. He always won, always, and died before I could win a single bout. From the first time I held a sword, all I wanted was to surpass him. And that's what drove me to become so strong. Perhaps it's absurd to say such a thing, but... I've spent all these years training for a duel with a corpse. Yes, I suppose I did. I can never again spar with my brother. Not unless he climbs out of his grave. Still, I continue my endless pursuit of strength. Maybe because I have a new opponent to measure myself against. You! Obviously. I beat you this time, but when we next cross swords, who knows what might happen. 
It was a close match, not a crushing victory. I know that I can do better. I will surpass you in strength, and then I'll become stronger still. <laughs> Just what I was hoping you'd say. Anyway, thank you for helping me find an answer to the question you asked all those years ago. Finally, you came. Wars begin and end, but this place never changes. And you don't change either. And that's true. We fought to bring peace to Foglin, but peace is so boring. No more chances to swing my sword at enemies, no more life-threatening battles. I know that these are positive developments, but I'm still a warrior at heart. Here I am, watching sadly as my blade grows dull. You're right. Damn, I can be a fool sometimes. And on that note, I'll tell you why I asked you to come here. Take this. Without a worthy opponent like you at my side, not only will my sword grow dull, it'll rust. So I had to think of a way to make sure you'd always be with me. This is what I came up with. And... You're pretty slow on the uptake. Don't you know what this ring means? If you keep messing around, I'll... I'll... Fine. Listen carefully. I'm not going to say this more than once. I want you to be my wife. Please say yes. Let's get married and stay together until we die. I love you. That's all. What? You have something to complain about? Oh. Okay then. In that case, I'd better start planning for the future. My future. With you.